So you've seen, uh, do you see the original Wayne's World? I'm movie? sure I did, yeah. Right, and then, but you never saw uh, Wayne's World 2? I, I just don't remember. Okay. It didn't make a big impression on me, if that's what you're All right, we'll talking. see what we, what we can do with this okay. one. Having a bad dream. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? I couldn't tell. The guy that walks by. Oh. It's supposed to be Jim. I didn't about see putting on a concert. You must go to England and find a man named Del Preston. He's the greatest roadie that ever lived. He was with us in the good times and the bad. He will help you. Any more questions? Will Garth ever get his Sports Illustrated football phone? It was sent to the wrong house. We'll arrive tomorrow along with the swimsuit issue and the video Stanley Cup 100 Years of Glory. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's cool. I just had the most vivid and powerful dream of my life. Last night, Jim Morrison spoke to me. He told me that the purpose of my life was to put on a concert. Oh, hey, guess what finally came in the mail, Wayne? I guess they sent it to the wrong house. My Sports Illustrated football phone. Oh, my God. And the history of the Stanley Cup, 100 years of glory. Garth, it's a sign. We will put on a concert. Oh, yes. <laughs> we will put on a concert. <laughs> so there you go. What do you think? Uh, You've seen that before? Or? Uh, I, somebody emailed me a part of it, yeah. Okay. What do you think Very of his cool. uh, Jim Morrison impression? Uh, not bad. I think, you know, average. That's more like how Jim w was in the movie, mm -hmm. you know, not like how he really was. So they got a good version of Val Kilmer's version of Yeah, him. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah, do you, uh, did, did Jim ever predict that you would receive a football phone in the mail or anything like that? <laughs> nope. All right. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> <laughs> do you, so you've said before that you sometimes, like, do, that you see Jim in your dreams every now and then? Does, is it ever like that, or what's the difference between how you see him in your dreams and how Wayne did? Uh, it's, never, it's never like he tells me anything, you know, it's just like we're, we're back in that time, mm -hmm. you know, and, and nothing special, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... It's like a rewind of history. What you're saying is that Peter Lawford warned Kennedy not to mess with the military industrial complex. Yeah, take this, oh. man. Next one over. J. Edgar Hoover was one bad cat. I mean, he had a completely different bag from Jack. I mean, he just couldn't groove. And when two cats can't groove to the same tune, one of them has to visit the man upstairs. <laughs> That's amazing. Huh. Excuse me. Hey, Wayne. Sammy did. 
That one I always find interesting because uh, Jim goes running after Sammy Davis. Do you think, like, I got the impression Jim never ran anywhere? <laughs> You're right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so even if Sammy Davis was running away from him in the desert, he, he wouldn't have jogged across? I very much doubt it. Very yeah. much doubt it. But he, he did like Sammy Davis and, and those guys, you know, Sinatra. So the whole point of the uh, the movie is they, they put on a concert. You could still see this good? Yeah. Oh, I remember the concert. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. he's like, nobody shows up. All right. I don't know, man. Jim Morrison <laughs> said, if you book them, they will come up. I don't know, Wade. It doesn't look too good. Jim? <laughs> Jim? When I saw this, the movie, I didn't see any of this desert stuff. I All I saw was the concert. Jim, none of the bands have showed up. I know, and they're not going to show up. Then why were we supposed to put on the concert? Because you had to try and do something with your life. But it was a failure. Whether you won or lost, what's important is that you gave it your best shot. Sorry, man. Okay. Wait. You'll think of something. <laughs> so yeah, after that they pretty much just drive off the cliff and uh, do the Thelma and Louise ending. But yeah, just uh, any further thoughts on Jim Morrison? Is that would he have left you hanging there in the desert? Say, ah, you. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was pretty uh, realistic. It doesn't matter if anybody comes, you know, you, you, you do it for yourself. Nice. <laughs> All right, any words for the uh, Jim Morrison impersonator, how he could have done a, uh, what he, how he, his, his, he could have changed his performance? Um, he, had to, he had to talk slower. Mm, okay. Jim talked real slow. And he, and he never looked at you when he talked, he always closed his eyes. And, is it, a, is it a nice thought to think that maybe somewhere Jim's in a, in a desert somewhere hanging out with Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> learning all the secrets of the universe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that could be nice. Uh, I, I just hope that, you know, everybody that, who was 27 that died, I hope that they're that way forever, you know? Right. And uh, if that's the case, we're fucked. <laughs>